employer, but in today's announcement, it particularly helps us with the shortage we have in healthcare and the need that we have uh, for our medical schools. Uh, as part of our announcement specifically, uh, we're doing uh, two significant grants and then a series of other things that tie into this. The first two that deal with physicians in the state uh, deal with one program that's already existing and one program that will be started here uh, and in Marathon County. The one that already exists is through the University of Wisconsin Medical School through what's called WARM and Triumph. WARM is the Wisconsin Academy of Rural Medicine, uh, as well as Triumph, which is a version of that, which is training in urban um, uh, medical education as well as public health. Uh, both of those programs target needs for physicians in rural and highly impoverished areas. We're putting more money in to help uh, train additional uh, medical students in those areas. And then here, and I literally mean here, uh, where the Medical College of Wisconsin, in collaboration with St. Norbert's and the greater Green Bay area, Brown County uh, community, is helping put together, I think, one of the most dynamic uh, new announcements we made, in, not just I made, that we've made here in Wisconsin quite some time, medical and our dental schools. Uh, we're trying to make sure that Wisconsin, Wisconsin, above any other state in the country, provides the, the, the most opportunities for people to be fully prepared to enter the workplace and pursue the career that he or she wants to do. If we do that, if we're successful, and I believe we will be, uh, workforce development and the lack of, of enough people with the skill sets needed to fill the jobs that not just are ready today, but will be ready in the years to come, is a problem all across America. It's a problem all over the globe. With these announcements today and the others that are part of this larger plan of nearly $100 million, if we're able to successfully implement this, and I believe that we will be, uh, this will put us on the forefront of economic recovery in this country.